Send me free from my distress, O Lord. See my lowliness and suffering, and take away all my sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful o Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline, now solemnly begun, may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, if the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way, that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does, can he do this and still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? but with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you, O oh Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord, more than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. If you, O oh Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, 
mark iniquity and can stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Most High. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. King of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Rakha, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, would be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and they recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel reminds us of the importance of forgiveness. And it's something that we hear often in Scripture because it is so important that it might be something that we need to hear or somebody else needs to hear each time it is proclaimed. So we need to forgive. We need to forgive other people. We need to forgive ourselves. We're holding something bound that we have not brought to confession or that we have not been reconciled for. We need at times even to forgive God, but we may still have some anger toward God for this or that that happened in our lives. We need to be people that are forgiving so that we might know the forgiveness of God in our lives, so that we might participate in that redemptive work of the Lord as well. During this season of Lent, we're reminded of that redemptive work. We're reminded that we're trying in that way of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving to have that light in Christ, to say that what am I, what is preventing me from seeing the Lord clearly? So I need to fast from that so that I might know the Lord more in my life. I need to have those quiet moments of relationship with the Lord so that that relationship may build and build so that I might again have that moment of that redemptive power of God in my life. And likewise, in that way of almsgiving is so Powerful because we are able to help others in need through what God has given to us, we are able then to give to others. My dear sisters and brothers, let us be ready to forgive and let us be ready to help so that we might participate in what the Lord has given to us. That ability to help others, that ability to love others, and the ability to continue on this journey of Lent during this season of Lent and onto a greater journey of knowing and loving and serving the Lord each and every day of our lives. My dear sisters and brothers, coming before the Lord, we ask for attentiveness to our petitions as we offer our prayers petitions to our Heavenly Father. That this Lenten season may set our hearts ablaze so that we hear God's word anew and live it. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those who are suffering from natural disasters may be brought to safety and security 
we pray to the Lord. That those who must leave their homes due to violence and intimidation will find new lives for themselves and their families, we pray to the Lord. That women who are denied access to education and employment may find solidarity with those who work to defend them, we pray to the Lord. That the sick and suffering of the world will be set free from their distress, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for Leo, for Leo Augustinus on his first ever, his first anniversary of his passing, for Kay Berger and her peace in our world, especially in Ukraine and in the Middle East. We pray to the Lord. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For all these prayers and those in the sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, hear our prayers that we bring before you, so that turning our ears to the cry of the poor, we will be made new through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrificial offering, O Lord, by which, in your power and kindness, you willed us to be reconciled to yourself, and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. <laughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. And not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall. As I live, says the Lord, I do not desire the death of the sinner, but rather that he turn back and live. Let us pray.
May the holy refreshment of your sacraments restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. Look with favor on your people, O Lord, that what their observance outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is up. Thanks. Together, pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Just pray the prayer to our Mother of Mothers, which is on the front cover of her Catholic book. Mother of Mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the Mother of the Son of God. Mary, my Mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of Holy Motherhood. Imploringly, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust you. I know that you can, by your all-powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidence in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers, pray for us.